Honey, I'm sorry. I was putting clothes in the dryer. I figured. Benicio, young man, how are you? You're the seven digits I'm okay. What's going on? I'm freaking out a little bit, man. Why? I promised to make a pernil for my girlfriend's family, and I just don't know how to make one. So I've made this promise, and now I'm screwed a little bit. Can you help me? Sure. Start from the top. I just have no idea. This is Thanksgiving dinner? Yes. We got, we got pork sandwiches the next day. Yeah. <laughs> Get a 15 pounder. Okay. It will serve 10 people. Okay. It's really simple ingredients. Garlic, salt, pepper, and oil. Preferably olive oil. All you gotta do is get 15 cloves, pretty big, not too small. Mm -hmm. And you mash up 10 and you slice up five. You make some incisions on the fat, the fat back, and you peel it back, but you don't take it off the penne. Mm -hmm. Because what you wanna do is make holes under it. So that part of the pork has also flavor. That's smart. Okay. So you make holes on your penne. Mm -hmm. After you make all the holes and you smash up your your garlic, you add salt and pepper to your garlic. It has to taste salty like the sea. Okay. You add your oil to it. And the oil, the reason we're putting oil in it is so that it could slide in the hole. You make the hole as deep as you can, but you don't want it to go all the way through. Mm -hmm, Just yeah. deep enough so it can go in. You get a small spoon. You make the holes in the pork big enough for a small spoon to fit in so you can stuff it. But you have to stuff it with it, with the garlic, salt, and pepper. Mm -hmm, right. After you stuff it all, then you put slivers of garlic in it on all the holes. Okay. Then you put the fat back over it. And whatever is left on the mortar, you just spread it all over the pork. Mm -hmm. You spread your pan, okay? Mm -hmm. You put aluminum foil over it, but you don't want the aluminum foil to touch the pork because then it's going to stick to the aluminum foil. Got it. Put it in the refrigerator overnight. Take it out early in the morning so it could be room temperature. Mm -hmm. And then you put it as high as you possibly can inside the oven. Mm -hmm. You put it 250 or if you like 300. Let it cook at least an hour and a half before you go in there and turn the pot. You gotta turn the pot. Okay. Because the ovens never, they never cook equally. So you gotta turn the pot. You let it cook for another hour and a half and then you turn, you turn it. Okay. Because now we want crunchy stuff. Right. So an hour and a half and an hour and a half, that's three hours. So you got two more hours to go. The last hour, you uncover the aluminum foil oil cover, mm -hmm. and then you let it cook for the next hour. You raise up the, uh, the heat to at least 350 or even four, mm -hmm. so that the fat back could get crunchy. It's already cooked inside. That's it. After That's five it. hours, you're done. Three o'clock, you should be able to pull it out. I'm pulling it out of the oven right now, and it looks amazing. Get out, really? It looks okay. so good. You didn't no, burn it. I didn't, you didn't burn, burn it. it. I did not burn it. Is it crunchy? Is it brown? Is it crunchy? It looks brown and crunchy. That's it. All you got to do is pull it out and cut it into pieces. But wait for it to cool down a little bit. I don't want you to get burned. Oh, thank you, Mom. Always oh, looking right, out for sweetie. me. I appreciate you. It's in your blood, love. I know. Food is in your blood. It's definitely in my blood it's right now. Blood. Have you seen me? <laughs> <laughs> really mad, you. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you too, sweetie.